Hi, this is The Greatest Story Ever Played. I'm Dan. I'm Jordan. And today we're doing a kind of best of 2018 show, just kind of a wrap up, a reflection on the games we've played, games that have come out, what we're looking forward to next year. So uh, our first category is favorite games that you played for the first time this year. So this doesn't Mm -hmm. have to be games that came out in 2018, but, Mm -hmm. you know, it's maybe something that you relate to the game on or uh, whatever, just discovered recently, that sort of deal. No, also, these aren't games we've necessarily reviewed on our on our podcast. There's yeah. games we've played this year. Yeah, games we've played this year, definitely. And I guess I want to give an honorable mention, actually, before I uh, <laughs> say my third one. We'll go, I guess, three to one, but because I haven't finished the game yet. But I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> it's fucking sweet. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I I feel bad that it might end up being my favorite game in 2019 because that's when I'll finish it <laughs> and it's the first game I'll have played. <laughs> but it it's yeah. fucking good. Like it, yeah. it would if I had finished it by now I'd put it in the top three. But since I haven't finished it, I can't say <laughs> yeah, that it doesn't. Officially. Yeah, because yeah. I guess it could go to shit, but I don't think it will. But incredible. But so my number three is uh, Uncharted Two. Just playing through a lot of the Uncharted series this year. It's been super fun. Uh, very awesome kind of Indiana Jones style mm-hmm. game, of course, for people who have, uh, haven't played them, but really fun. This one was especially good. It had a lot of the best parts of Uncharted in it. Um, good chases, good shooting, good story, <laughs> mm-hmm. it, all around fun. So that's my number three favorite game from this year. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've, I've played part of the first one and it's made by the same creators as Last of Us, so it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just. Based on that alone, it's really good. Right, yeah. Naughty Dog's <laughs> sweet. Yep. Uh, so my, my third favorite game this year was uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. So it's the sequel to Shadow of Mordor. Okay. So I like this a lot because I love Lord of the Rings. And they added a lot of um, RPG customization into the second one. So it was just a lot of really cool Lord of the Rings lore with yep. like really cool fighting. I love the combat system. I oh, love cool. the upgrading system. Just a lot of fun, in my opinion. Do you play as... Uh... Actual characters? Mm, or are they, like, made of. up? You, It's like... So the, the story takes place before the first movie. Okay. So you play as, like, a ranger who's, like... So Aragorn's a ranger, too. But you right. play as, like, someone kind of like him. Okay. And you interact with characters that are in the actual series. You interact with Gollum. You see Sauron. Okay. Um, I think that might be it. Okay. But then most of you are just going around just filleting orcs and stuff it's okay super fun the combat's really fun nice yeah it's okay great. so it's you're in the world mm-hmm. you run into characters occasionally but it's kind of a side story essentially. yeah it's, it's kind of like a prequel that's not necessarily canon right um and honestly the second the this one kind of went a little bit farther in the non-canon direction okay the first one was like more canon but it was i think in my opinion less fun sure um but Still really good games. I, I if you like Lord of the Rings, definitely worth playing. Okay, is um, is the first one worth playing? Like, should you play the first one to play this one? Um, y- probably. Probably. You don't okay. have to, but I think it would add some okay. depth to the characters at least. Nice. Mm-hmm. Awesome. My number two is uh, the farewell episode from Life is Strange Before the Storm. <laughs> so all the other Life is Strange stuff I did play last year okay i was gonna ask you. Um, so i i hadn't got to play them or i'd already played them um by the time 2018 started but this one came out in i don't think march or something like that so that was my first time having to wait for a life is strange <laughs> release so i had a date that was like you know um mm-hmm. on my calendar and i'm like oh man i can't wait till you know i get off work on tw- the 20th or whatever it was mm-hmm. and i just came home and did that immediately and it was awesome so Mm, nice uh, cap to Max and Chloe. So yeah, that was great. And so my second one is Life is Strange. Just the we'll, we'll say the first game. Say I don't want to cheat and do the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll do the first Life is Strange and probably the best story I've ever played through. I don't think I've experienced emotion like that in like a different game. I mean, there's been like small things here and there in different games, like in The Last of Us when you're daughter dies in the beginning like things like that it's like right that sucked but this whole game is like oh man so many sad things so many cool things great storytelling yeah. the gameplay was really fun like the, the whole the whole package is just a really good game feels after feels oh yeah just <laughs> non-stop yeah like literally every second yeah no it, it's so good I'm... and e- even with like the rewind time power even that was like 
almost didn't you didn't feel safe making any decision because it was like man i guess i can rewind time but i don't want to experience the bad decision even if i can rewind it because i'll remember how bad it was uh, you know what i mean it's like yeah ugh, can't, can't do that <laughs> yeah it made you feel a consequence for your actions despite being able to rewind which mm-hmm. is pretty interesting like mm-hmm. It seems like there's a different version of that where you could be like, fuck it, you know, whatever, yeah. but it didn't, you didn't feel like that at all. No, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Really well done. Yeah. That's so good. Um, and then my number one was The Last of Us. So <laughs> I, of course, was super late to the party. Um, <laughs> yep. and yeah, dude. Yeah. So late. Uh, and it was amazing. It was, it was so good. And, uh, I think even on a scale, so of course, The well, Last of Us is great and, I don't know. Everyone probably feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they're a hater. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you wouldn't like that game. <laughs> yeah. Super good. But even in terms of gaming, I think it did a good thing for me because it kind of pushed me into like a very light RPG-ish style thing. This game has some RPG elements, but it's pretty limited with, yeah. you know, you can craft five things from five things or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's pretty small in that. And I think that that was really good because mm-hmm. i hadn't really branched into rpgs at the point when i played this this year and then uh i guess later on we played vampire which had more rpg stuff yep and even now like playing horizon zero yeah, dawn which has RPG. even more yeah. super rpg so i think it uh, you know the game itself is so good but i'm glad that it kind of pushed me towards another style of game that i hadn't played that much of yeah that's um, cool that's a good so, stepping stone yeah because it's it's pretty l- it's relatively linear. Like, you can't really go off into different side quests or anything like that at all. Right. But the, the the environment's pretty expansive, and the story is super deep. Right. And there's enough RPG elements that, like, it makes it customizable, I guess. Right, yeah. Not side experience. quests, but you can be a... Uh, get good with a certain weapon, mm-hmm. or... Have a certain play style. Yeah, play style. Or figure, you know, like, uh, something I figured out early on is because I was pretty bad at killing clickers and died a lot. <laughs> So I just Molotov cocktailed them yeah. always because yep. I was like, okay, cool. Easy. I can use this system for my advantage. And so I had less health packs, but like it was fine because uh, the clickers were the ones who got me killed a lot. So mm-hmm. that was like my way around it. And th- yeah, it's a great game. I think it would probably be in my top three. I mean, of all time, no matter what, but I played it, you know, right. four, four years ago. <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Four <laughs> or five years ago. I forget when it came out, but yeah, yeah it's, it'll be in my top three probably forever until the second one comes out maybe it pushes it down probably not gonna happen but maybe yeah <laughs> um, yeah great game so yeah my my number one this year which i'm surprised to say is assassin's creed odyssey so i kind of bought this on a whim i was like kind of bored and like i like rpgs i played the first let's see three assassin's creeds maybe four and then got got bored because they're all the same um but then i read some stuff about this one and it got really good reviews like 9.8 out of 10 4.5 oh, out of wow. fives, so like things like that. I was like, uh, eh, it can't be that good. But then I watched some YouTube videos on it, and it's really freaking sweet. Okay. Um, so it's set in like Greek, the like Greek time, so like a bunch of Greek mythology. The story is really deep, really good. It's not the typical Assassin's Creed, so I don't think you've ever played them. Hmm. But in the past, the combat's been really straightforward. Like you hold Y, you can counter any attack. Like, it's uh, okay. really boring. But this this combat's good. It's like an actual RPG open world. Um. I like. It's it's in my uh, my opinion, it's kind of like The Witcher, The Witcher Three. Okay. The story's as deep and the combat's as good, and I like it almost more because I like Greek mythology a lot. So it's it's kind of uh, cool. in my opinion one of the best games I've ever played. Wow. So I huge plug for it. If you like Assassin's Creed but have been like kind of disenchanted with the recent games before Origins, play this one. It's really good. Nice. You actually might like it too. All right. Yeah, just saying. And, and is it um, so you don't need to play the old ones before? Oh no, no. Is it kind of a restart, like a like how God of War is new again? Uh, I think sort of. Yeah. So okay. like, so I I didn't play. So there's this is the tenth Assassin's Creed game. I played the first three or maybe four. Okay. Um, and then stopped. Uh, okay. And I picked it back up and didn't care at all about the previous ones. Okay. It's super like That's secluded good. almost. Yeah. That's good. That that's something I feel like with any huge franchises where it's like, where do I have to pick up to like enjoy it? Oh like, yeah. Is this like a soft restart? Because if it is, then that's good. Versus ones where you know. Yeah. Like um. Like I'm sure that people could start with 
Uncharted 2 instead of Uncharted 1. Mm-hmm. Uh, you wouldn't miss a ton, but, like, I don't know. I'd, Might be I, helpful to have yeah. the first, first game in, under your belt. Right, and you've met some characters in the mm-hmm. first one who show up in the next one or whatever. Like, oh, yeah. uh, none of that. You know, that sort of deal. You're the same character, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, uh, Odyssey is kind of... It's bef- It's hard to describe without giving too much away. Okay. Um, basically, it's, you don't need to play other games. It's, it's kind of like a prequel in its own right. Cool. Um, it's actually for sure a prequel. So yeah, I, I would recommend it. It's really good. I've I think I've invested like forty hours into it. I Sweet. got it in like October. Okay. Um, and I'm nowhere near, <laughs> near done with it. It's really good. Just amazing. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, they they basically have the whole Greek world. So you you can go to like all these different islands. You have a boat. Oh and cool. Like, there's like naval combat. Um, the islands are huge. It's it's really good. Really well done. Graphics are great. I'd recommend it. That's awesome. That sounds cool. Oh yeah. So then we got a bunch of feedback on from people from their favorite games that they played for the first time this year. Uh, Weird Wolf on Twitter wrote in and he said The, Whis- the Witcher 3 and Near uh, Automa. Mm-hmm. Um, Witcher 3 is really good. It's probably in my top five of all time. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's really good. Strong endorsement. Oh, yeah. I was uh, talking to a guy at work and he said Near was super good oh, also. I had not actually heard about that. Yeah, I hadn't heard much. About, like I'd seen it on people's list here and there like for their favorite games they've played. But I didn't know much about it. But yeah. I was What's talking to a guy at work. It's on PS4. So uh, of course. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, Classic. Yeah, so I, right, right, Xbox, classic. yeah. Right. Screw me, right? All right. Get out. <laughs> uh, yeah. He was saying that I think it's like Androids and like stuff like that. But mm. it sounded like it was really cool. But he was like, he said that that had come out the same year Horizon Zero Dawn did. And he bought them both. And he was like, I almost felt bad because <laughs> like I wanted to play one, but then I couldn't play the other because <laughs> yeah. they were both that good. Like. He talked them both up a lot, so I, I feel like maybe I'll have to check that game out. Yeah, it feels like it's got to be checked out. Yeah, uh, Chris on Twitter says Assassin's Creed Origins, which I I haven't played this, but I looked it up, and it apparently is like Odyssey. That it's it's um, like an origin story, obviously based on the title, um, but it's they kind of righted a lot of the wrongs from the series. Uh-huh. And, but then Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, made what they did in Origins even better. So it's kind of how have heard how I've heard it described is like Odyssey is like a better version of Origins. Oh, which cool. I haven't played Origins. Which after seeing this list of people, a lot of people said Origins. I, th- I might go back and play that one too. Did Odyssey come out this year? Yeah, uh, it came out in October. Uh, okay. So, yep. Alzared on Twitter said Assassin's Creed Origins as well because uh, it breathed breathed uh, new life into the series that had grown pretty stale. The protagonist was relatable, and the setting was ancient Egypt. And its twilight was extremely detailed. Yeah, that's, so that's what I've kind of read online too about it. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Tao on Twitter says, "What remains of Edith Finch was easily the best story-rich game I've played recently. It's short and simple, but I think it really shows how games can be used to tell a great story." Did you play that one? I actually played it earlier this month. Oh um, wow! Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Uh, so I. Fully agree with Tao. Uh, it, w- it was really good. Um, and I think, it, like, it's a walking sim style similar to, like, Firewatch. Okay. But it's the best version of a game like that that I've played. That's awesome. Story was told super well, really unique. Highly recommend it. Is this for PS4? Uh, Probably. Because <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I think it might be for other things. I feel like it's on Steam for sure. Okay. Uh, uh, it might be on Xbox. I don't know. Probably not. Because it's good. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, you got to get PS4. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my wife won't let me. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ian Finch, though. Super good. <laughs> we got Mad Kaiser Mess on Twitter. says, definitely Life is Strange and Near Automata. Life is Strange, I agree with. It was my top 10, or top 10, top 3, and probably top 10 of all time. And then from what you said, Near Automata sounds really good too. Yeah, yeah. Life is Strange. Uh, that, that, Such a good game. I like that. Uh, I think what's cool is that, like, like for you, and even for me last year, like, we're finding this game four or five years after <laughs> it came late, out. Like, yeah. Super late, and, and uh, for uh, Kaiser Mist too. Like, it, it seems like people just find this game. Mm-hmm. Or have been finding it late, I guess probably because it's not you know five bucks all the time, yeah. stuff like that, and people are like, all right, I'll check it out. And it shouldn't be. It should be like twenty five easily. Yeah, it's really good. Which, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm glad they're selling it for cheaper. No, yeah. When but it's on super sale, I mean that's what got me to buy it. Worth more than five bucks. Oh yeah, 
great. Uh, it's so good. So, I don't know. It's cool that that game keeps finding people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very cool. Escarlot on Twitter said, uh, The Last of Us, Horizon Zero Dawn, and <laughs> Butterfly Soup. Two of those you love. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Horizon, so good. Last of Us, great. I don't know anything about Butterfly Soup, though, Never actually. Never even heard of it, yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard of that, I'll so. Have to look that up later. Mm-hmm. Um, we got Emma on Twitter says, Kingdom Hearts 2 Easily. I, man, I, that's one of the games I've actually really wanted to play. Just, I guess, the Kingdom Hearts series in general. I've never played it, but I've heard it's really good. I, I'm in the same spot. I have never played any of them either. But they seem like like how much people love them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for how almost weird they seem. Like, mm-hmm. it's like all the Disney characters, but then like the Final Fantasy characters are in yeah, it. Yeah, it's really like, strange. It's like this weird combo, but then everyone really loves it. So I'm like... It must be pretty sweet. Like, I would assume so. I think that there's another one that's coming out next year or something that people are pretty excited about. Hmm. Kingdom of Hearts 3, maybe. Oh, really? I think. I don't, I don't know. Pick it up. Yeah, so I don't know. Probably worth checking those games out, though. Solarpunk on Twitter said uh, Life is Strange, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Persona 5. Hmm. So, yes, definitely in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> yep, again. Yeah. Uh, we got Eleanor on Twitter says. Uh, the Dragon Age series, so 1, 2, and 3 in Life is Strange, but she's struggling to find other games that catch her attention as much. That's fair. I've actually played, let's see, I played Dragon Age, I played 2 and 3. 2 was really good. 3 I was less into, but it was still pretty fun. Okay. It's kind of like an RPG, medieval, um, st- kind of story-based game. Okay. Yeah, it's got weird elements. It's It's... It's hard to describe. So it's not open world, but it's kind of like open map. So there's like different maps you can go to that are more uh, open. And you kind of travel with a party. So it's like huh. you and three other NPC characters. Okay. And you can kind of pick your party. It's it's relatively strategic. It's pretty huh. fun, though. Okay. Yeah. I, my understanding, this is also a gap in the gaming knowledge. My understanding is Final Fantasy can be kind of like that, right? Where you like choose your uh companions yeah final fantasy is more from my experience more turn-based so it's like okay. your team attacks and the enemy team attacks okay. but dragon age is more it's f- free so you just okay you like cast spells and like attack as you would in uh, like probably like horizon zero dawn or something like that okay that's sweet yeah that's cool yeah that's also a tough spot where you're uh with the games and you're like nothing else is clicking like yeah i feel like there's sometimes where that where it's like uh, games aren't clicking, and so I'm just playing Levels on The Last of Us again. Just, you know, something like <laughs> yeah. that. I'm just going back. Something and, you know you like a lot. Yeah, just going back to that. Or, like, when I'm done with Horizon, I bet it will be that way because it's got an open world, so mm-hmm. uh, this place is fun to go kill these robots or something. Like, yep. go do that for an hour <laughs> instead yeah. of trying something new. <laughs> yeah. It, El- Eleanor, if you like Dragon Age, I might recommend, like, um, Assassin's Creed... Odyssey is really good. Maybe even Vampire. Like, it's not medieval necessarily, but it's kind of similar feeling. Because Dragon Age is kind of dark okay. in certain points, and Vampire is pretty dark too. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's also open world, but it's not, because it, the map's not huge, but right. it's, it's open enough. So maybe maybe that could be good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, that's cool. Nixia on Twitter said, I was late to the party, but I really loved playing Oxenfree. <laughs> Uh, that was one of our first games. Yeah, that, yeah, that was one of the first games we did for this podcast. It was, it and, was fun, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, such a good short little game. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, holy shit! Uh, so their new um, game, After Party, the one mm-hmm. where you're partying out of hell. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> they announced their voice cast of like all their people, and so uh, Ashley Birch, Chloe, she's oh, wow. one of the characters in it. Um, Dave Fenoy, he was Lee in The Walking Dead. He's, I think he's Satan in it, which is awesome. Yeah, that's, uh, that fits. Yeah, super cool. His voice cool. is pretty deep. Yeah, <laughs> he's in it. Um, Aaron Yvette, who I think she's Snow White in Wolf Among Us. Ooh. She's going to be in it. The, oh, I can't believe I'm forgetting her name. I feel bad that I'm forgetting it. But the woman who played uh, Delilah in Firewatch. Um, oh. She's also, a vo- you know, so it's like. Man, it, so like all these people that we've yeah, heard. <laughs> and and some of the people from Oxenfree are going to be back in this one. So it's That's like crazy. they've got like a killer voice cast. All-star cast. So yeah. It looks awesome. And for being, you know, this fun little indie game, you mm-hmm. know, like I'm really excited for that. Uh, <laughs> Let's play that for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, let's see, we got we got Daniel on Twitter says, Life is Strange, Before the Storm, Beyond Two Souls, 
Near Automata, Last of Us, Horizon Zero Dawn. So basically all the things that we would like or that you have played or in like. Can't agree. I can't disagree with any of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, except Beyond Two Souls. We haven't played that. No. But that's, I, I think that'd probably be up our alley as far as like games we'd want to play. Yeah, I think so too. I, I definitely would like to play that at some point. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a lot of fun. Tina on Twitter said, well, I only started playing Life is Strange before the storm uh, this year, and I'm going to say that and Detroit Become Human and Red Dead 2. Yeah, man. So, yeah. That, yeah. Have to get that one at some point. <laughs> right. Need to. Gotta. Last up, we got Nikki on Twitter. Um, says, so definitely Life is Strange 2, even if it was just one episode so far. It was really good. Yeah. Um, also, Wolf Among Us. Uh, we're playing that too. Really good. Uncharted 3, Detroit Become Human. And I'm pretty sure even though I haven't played it yet, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> it sounds really good. And Far Cry Primal was really interesting. And does Pokemon Go count? <laughs> I would mm, I'd probably count Pokemon Go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of games, and a lot of those are really good games. Yeah, yeah. And I would agree, Red, Red Dead Redemption, haven't played it, but I probably put a top five just because of what I've heard about it. Yeah, everything <laughs> I've, I, like, I've tried to not hear too much so that I don't get spoiled, mm -hmm. but I also know when I play, I'm going to be pretty into it, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, looks great. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that kind of ends our first time in 2018, and it switches over to our game of the year for 2018. What's the best game that you played that came out this year? And I uh, we I actually didn't play a lot of games that came out this year. I ended up buying a lot of them uh, at the end of the year, and we'll probably be playing them early next year. So, Fair. Uh, like, got them for twenty bucks on Black Friday or something. Mm -hmm. So, Frugal like, day. like, like Detroit Become Human. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna play that in the first half of next year. <laughs> yep. Something like that. Uh, or or some of these other games, you know, mm -hmm. like so late to the party on some of them. So uh, the game though that I played that I liked the most this year was uh, the Walking Dead final season. Those first two episodes, um, really good. They were so good. Uh, they really, really felt like they brought the franchise back mm -hmm. from what it was. With the first two seasons were good, and we really enjoyed them years ago when we played them. And then, uh, oh yeah. New Frontier wasn't that great, mm -hmm. and you weren't Clem, so it was kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was kind of like, all right, whatever. And, mm -hmm. yeah, this one came back. It, it brought, like, you know, good scares. The mm -hmm. relationship between Clem and AJ is cool. Yep. Um, you can, your combat has changed a little bit. You can do a little bit more than some of your standard you Telltale really games. Well done, too. Yeah. yeah, you can move around a little more, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Mm hmm uh the kids they introduced them to the new characters like lewis and violet and brody and um, brody. all those people yeah. like, they 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 added a lot of great stuff mm -hmm. and when we played this uh the first two episodes it was like this is the best walking dead stuff in general that i felt like i'd encountered in years like yep. the show hadn't been very good for a while like it'd been okay i think it's better now but yeah 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 not yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh now it's definitely way better yeah now, now the show's best it has been in years also mm -hmm. um but the show was in its own uh, a new frontier stage it <laughs> yeah. seemed like but for a while. Yeah. yeah but i feel like uh the show and this game like they're both back to like season one good like uh, yeah it, it's awesome it's really great and then even having a uh, telltale go away and then we thought this game was over <laughs> yeah and super bummed yeah super bummed and now it's coming back and i think comes out january 15th yeah so just uh, really soon yeah so like three away yeah so that's super awesome really excited for that uh but yeah, I'm 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 just really glad they like brought it back and excited that the game's still gonna exist because mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it would just ended after two episodes that'd been mm, really sad the biggest bummer it's doing such good things and then just yeah, dead before it's time right that would suck and I, honestly I think I might have this might have been it, this might have been up there for me maybe top three top two but because Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed Odyssey came out this year I have to put it fair put it there honestly i think it'll probably win game of the year like outright really um like just as a whole yeah it's, over, I think over it's, like red dead mm -hmm. and god of war and stuff which wow. granted i haven't played those two <laughs> no right, so right, i'm right. kind of biased but i i do think that like man just with how good it is i the story the gameplay the combat the ex exploration the graphics right i mean i'd probably make it 10 out of 10 in my opinion like wow. it's that good yeah 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 like, it's probably the best game I've played since Witcher 3, which I, it might have been the best game I've played up until this game. 
Okay. So it's, that's, it's that good in my opinion. That's str- yeah, that's strong. Yeah, very strong. Strong plus. Yeah. So I I don't know. I mean, I could see Red Dead Two winning or God of War Four, but I'd probably I'd put this head at this point because I played it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, bias, but whatever. No. Yeah. That's where this kind of makes it hard. Is that unless you're someone who actually can play all of them, <laughs> all of the good games, it's. Which if you had a PS4, you could. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't. So. No. Right. Can't. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. That's definitely something. Yeah. I guess that. Yeah. I wonder if next year I'm gonna try to be a little more on for a couple of the ones that will look like they'll win game of the year to get, mm-hmm. get or a good taste of them yeah it's not like paying 60 bucks for a game that much it's a lot but I it's, mean, if you know it's going to be good like that's why with assassin's creed like right. I'd, I'd heard it was good but then I, I spent like probably a week researching it i was like okay this is a game i would like probably even if it's not like the best game i, I would still enjoy it so it, it made sense to buy it yeah for, i think i got it for 50 though yeah and may, maybe that's the uh stipulation or whatever like yeah. pre-ordering sure that usually is maybe not worth it like but once you like research it for a week if it's like okay i know this is going to be in for me mm-hmm. it's worth 60 bucks that's yeah. that's cool you know like i mean i know i'll buy last no, uh, you know other games uh i suppose too yeah yeah something like for that sure. right when it comes but you know other ones it's like i don't i don't want to get it and then realize i don't want it or mm-hmm. something too late Yep, or whatever. But sixty bucks out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess on the other side of that is that like, if it's a game you like, definitely worth buying. And you know, I want developers to get whatever money they deserve. On yep. the other side of that, I just don't want to not like a developer because I pay too much for their game. That's fair. <laughs> Which, yeah. Or whatever, but you know, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I want them to get theirs. You know, so like with Life is Strange too, I want them to have my money and that I bought the first one for five bucks on a Black Friday sale two years ago or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pre-order. <laughs> I'm gonna pre-order. I want you to get this money because I want you to keep making games. I mm-hmm. believe in your company. Yep. Um, so it, I guess it does. And the pre-ordering Walking Dead, same thing. I wanted that game, and I wanted Telltale to keep making them. Uh, so that didn't work. But <laughs> someone else make money. Which <laughs> so, sounds better actually than Telltale getting it. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully someone else is getting it. But yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so some listener feedback though. Uh, we're both on Twitter. Wrote in. He said, uh, "God of War." Detroit Become Human, awesome, The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, uh, and uh, The Quiet Man. I like the uh, Captain Spirit inclusion. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah. That's a pretty solid game, even though it's like you know, free in like four hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or three hours even, maybe. Yeah, super short. Uh, yeah, pretty short. Really fun. I really hope we see him in the next episode of Life is Strange 2. Uh, I feel like we will. Hopefully. Or at least by the third episode. Yeah. I hope we see him soon. Yeah. Uh, but that was that was really fun getting to explore his house and imagination and stuff with him. Mm-hmm. And definitely the best free thing I've gotten in a while. Uh, maybe ever for e- me. Yeah, maybe ever. No, like what? Like game or game otherwise. Wise. Yeah, I don't Even know. Even outside of game. Free things, like, usually they aren't as good as this. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> fun. I mean, that was definitely... I would probably replay it. It was that fun. It was free. So. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, if you haven't played it, definitely download yeah, it for definitely free. Definitely worth it. Especially if you haven't played Life is Strange 2 yet. Yeah. Um, I'd play it. Not that you have to, but it'd be it'd be cool to play beforehand. Yeah. Um, next up we got Nikki on Twitter. Guess it's a bit early for Life is Strange 2, but it's still a candidate. I agree. <laughs> and then we got Detroit Become Human was pretty amazing, which sounds like a, a common a common theme this year. Yeah. Which, and the- as looking down this list, there's more of those. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It, it looks super fun. Yeah. Definitely have to play that. Mm-hmm. Alyssa on Twitter also says, Detroit Become Human. <laughs> uh, we got N and O on Twitter. I'm late, but Detroit be- Detroit was impressive. The graphics and the storytelling are literally literally the best. So another Detroit Become Human vote. Yep. And then uh, Daniel on Twitter, Detroit Become Human, and buy a lot. So <laughs> so many. Yeah. So a lot of people really love Detroit. I think we're we're we definitely want to try to play that game. Yeah. In the first half of next year for sure. Yeah. So pretty um, soon. Yeah. Because so I, I I picked it up and it sounds perfect for what we like. Like the branching mm-hmm. style. You play as a couple characters and. Yeah. With this much uh, love from people in general, but even hearing from a lot of you guys that you love it. Really looking forward to playing this game. Um, hype is strong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we got Connor on Twitter. Says, Far Cry 5, Red Red Redemption 2, and The Walking Dead Season 4. Uh, those sound really good, too. I actually picked up Far Cry 5 briefly, and it, it was pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah. 
you're pretty fun. You're in a like a like it's a, a weird cult? cult. Yeah, it's like this super weird cult that's like super violent. Okay, it's, it, that makes it really interesting because you just um, want to kill all of them. Is it open worldy kind of thing? Yeah, okay. oh, super open world. Yep. Okay, huge, huge map. Okay, so then you can uh, just kill the cult members basically. Yeah, it's cool. not super RPG based. Like you just pick up guns and shoot people, which is okay. it's still really fun. The combat's really fun. Okay. That's awesome. I enjoyed it. Yep. It looks fun. I've like had it on like a, a watch list mm -hmm. to see if it goes on sale. And it did go on sale, but I ended up picking up other games. But yeah. it looks fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca on Twitter wrote in and said, It's been a strong year. Um, and I'm way behind on some releases. Uh, but so far, the council is at the top of my list, uh, followed closely by Monster Prom. Uh, the council looks really cool. It's um it's episode based. Oh. So that I think that the last episode came out uh, this month sometime but apparently it's episode based uh, but it's also sort of rpg style yeah. and so you can like kind of choose what kind of character you'd want to be and level up some things but it's also episode based so that's it, weird man. yeah it seems intriguing uh huh. for sure that sounds like something I kind of want to play. Yeah, I know. I'm like, this seems like something that should end up getting podcasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah pro uh, probably. It, it seems cool. Like, yeah. It seems like we should end up having to talk about it sometime because yeah. it seems right up our alley. That sounds cool. Um, we got Chris on Twitter. says Red Dead Redemption 2. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Vulture Gaming said uh, God of War. Anyone? I'm surprised not more people said that. <laughs> yeah. Unless you don't own a PS4. I've just heard that's a really good game. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say that. I'm excited to play it. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks sweet. Just hearing all the love. Uh, okay, last up, uh, we've got our 29, 2019 releases we're most excited for. And I guess this could be projected 2019. Some of these games that uh, we might mention or other people don't actually have a release date, but mm -hmm. we're all thinking, assuming, thinking, hoping. <laughs> thinking, hoping, assuming 2019. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we actually chose the same thing. Yep. Last of Us 2. Yep. <laughs> Hands down. Hands down. That trailer from E3 was the coolest fucking thing. Uh, uh, ever? Yeah, yeah, ever. Gameplay looked so cool. Yeah, graphics look amazing. Yeah, it looks incredible. I um was like, can it really like look that good? You know, like, and I think it really can. Yep. I played, I haven't played most of the game. I played maybe like an hour of Uncharted 4, mm -hmm. which is by Naughty Dog also. Yeah. And playing it, I was like, this looks better than any game I've played on my PS4 before. Like, I was in awe of how good it looked. They, they really have that nailed down. They Yeah, they actually have it nailed down. Like, mm -hmm. they know how to push the PS4 to its limits or whatever. And so, I think The Last of Us 2 probably does look that good, uh, for real. Because uh, yep. I saw people speculating whether it could or not, but... Um, mm -hmm. Man. I'm so excited to play that. Yeah, and... I'm gonna buy a PS4 just to just to play this game. Like that's that's how excited I am about it. Yeah. And yeah, seeing seeing the gameplay trailer, ugh, graphics are great, but the gameplay looks really fun mm -hmm. and like more difficult than the first one. At least based on the the snippet we got. No, right. Like that they could communicate with each other. Yeah. The, the, um, the bad hell? guys. Yeah, that's that cool. Looks so in the in the um, environment looks bigger too. Like where you're like fighting in. It's like yeah. The, the, the enemies could be like farther away and like communicate with each other which is unfortunate for us because if they're if the maps are bigger and enemies are more of them communicate mm -hmm. so yeah it, it looks really good mm -hmm. and i for sure can't wait to play it hopefully it comes out this year or i guess not this year 2019 yeah i really hope it comes 2019 yeah it, it freaking uh, better yeah i guess if it doesn't even if we just have a date somewhere like yeah i just want to have a day on my calendar that's circled that I can probably like call off the day after work or something like day that. Day after. Yeah. Or d Get yeah. It at midnight. Day, um, stay day after. Night. Something like that. Where yeah. it's like, this is what I'm gonna do for a while this day. Like I don't want to beat the game in a weekend necessarily, mm -hmm. but I want to have like a long stretch pretty quick. Oh yeah, me it's too. Out. Like, oh, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So feedback from other people. Rebecca on Twitter says uh, the Sinking City, the Dark Pictures, and the Beast Inside are currently my most anticipated for. Early ish, hopefully 2019. Dark Pictures looks super cool. So, Dark Pictures is uh, this anthology series that's coming out from hmm. uh, the Until Dawn people. Ooh. Yeah. So, and the short trailer they put out, it's like people on a boat, and maybe they're like deep sea diving, exploring sunken something. Hmm. 
and seemingly monsters or something ensue and Interesting. attack them. It looks super cool. Hell but yeah. Until Dawn was awesome, uh, and so I will definitely play other games they make. I'm in. <laughs> I'm super in. That sounds really good. Yeah. Awesome. Alina on Twitter says, Cyberpunk, Days Gone, The Last of Us 2. Cyberpunk, for sure want to get that. It's by the makers of uh, Witcher. Oh, right, so right. I'm, and I actually watched uh, some gameplay for this like last week with Lewis. Oh, cool. And it looks really good. Really Don't. freaking good. And, I mean, I'm kind of worried that it's going to take my life over. <laughs> so Right. Maybe I'll wait to get it <laughs> yeah. until I have some free time. But <laughs> I really want to get that. And Days Gone looks really good, too. Looks like it could be like a either really really good or a flop because of how the the zombies and the combat look right it looks i mean I'd, I'd for sure buy it day one if i had a ps4 but yeah i'm looks cool i'm yeah cyberpunk sounds great it sounds yeah it sounds like it's uh you could spend your whole life playing uh, it, it sounds that comprehensive yeah, it which looks is really kind of cool sick. but yep uh amazing yeah days gone i'm i'm uh, excited for I, I do have the same reservations. Yeah. So I think I'll probably uh, treat it similar to how you treated Assassin's Creed this year, where yep. it's, it's like, research. all right, yeah, I'm going to research it. I'll let it come out. I'll see what people say. Mm-hmm. I'll watch some stuff. Because what I saw looked cool. I yeah, definitely really like the cool. idea of um, riding a motorcycle and uh, fighting people and zombies. Yeah. You know, that's already got me like 75% there. <laughs> so. Yep. And if, if you've seen World War Z, that's yeah. how the zombies are. They just like pile on each other they run at you full force like that's never been done before in a zombie game as far as i know right so Normally it can be either be slower moving yeah stuff. really well done or just like eh, this doesn't work right <laughs> which i assume will be well done yeah i'm but, hoping so definitely yep. uh, want it to be oh yeah uh then uh we got derek on twitter said uh, anthem on the pc is something i'm interested in along with cyberpunk but i'm not sure if that's release window oh, i've heard of anthem it looks really cool yeah Cyberpunk, right, like Last of Us, doesn't have a release date, but it's yeah, like... Yeah, it's supposed to be this year, 2019, supposed to be. Okay. All right, I think that's kind of the, the thought, but we'll see. Makes sense. Um, we got Solar Punk on Twitter says, The rest of Life is Strange 2. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really want to play that too. Yeah, looking forward to those episodes. Oh, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. I'm excited to see uh, the Diaz boys journey. <laughs> yeah, boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see uh, Daniel's powers more yeah right yeah because the preview for the last one it seemed like he was learning how to use them yep which was cool be awesome yeah uh daniel on twitter said whatever deck nine is doing (laughs) uh whatever quadrant uh quantic dream is doing last of us two oh and whatever uh some kind of prequel sequel spinoff to horizon uh that's announced whatever gorilla is doing (laughs) uh which i i I like this uh that that is definitely something that there's certain companies that if they're doing something i'm in yeah if there's anything related to horizon zero done i will play it and i will probably buy it straight up like Mm -hmm. um no questions asked yeah no questions asked at this point or like whatever deck nine's doing since they have this mystery project is it life is strange related is it something different either way i probably want to play um, yep. I feel similarly. I like Before the Storm enough that I would want more mm-hmm. of whatever they're doing. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, am. I feel the same way with CG, CD Project Red, which is what made The Witcher and Cyberpunk. Right. And Naughty Dog probably at this point, too. Yeah. I, they haven't read a bad game. Right. As All far the as Unchar- I know. Between Uncharted and Last of Us. Is and Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> right, yeah. Throwback. Yeah, yeah. Crash- right. It's Amazing. like... Amazing. <laughs> that's all fun stuff. That's, yep. you know, that's not having your game where you're like, uh, I don't know if I want to buy from you anymore. Yeah. Um, Until they prove otherwise, they're really good. Yeah, I think I'd maybe put... I don't know if I'd put Don't Nod quite there now. I think I maybe would, but... So Life is Strange 1 was really good. Mm-hmm. Vampire was solid. Mm-hmm. I think I like it more now that I'm, like, for looking back on it, I think I like it more. Yeah. In the moment, there were some things that were... Complaints, yeah. Complaints. Mm-hmm. But I kind of wonder if I would pay 40 instead of 60, if I would feel different. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was pretty solid. And then uh, Life of Strange 2, I'm enjoying. But they've yep. got another game coming out in, next year. Oh, shit. Really? Twin Mirror, I think. That's like a crime thing. Oh, I think we talked about that. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Okay. I'm, I'm not, yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm quite... Not there yet. I don't know if I'm quite there that I'll buy it immediately, but mm-hmm. I'm definitely intrigued. Yeah. And I want to want to buy it. That at least. fair, yeah. Because, uh, I, again, I want them to keep making games, but... Yeah, and keep making money. Right, keep making money, keep making games, mm-hmm. all of that. Awesome. 
Uh, we got Nikki on Twitter says The Last of Us Two, The Next Life is Strange Two episodes, The Elder Scrolls Six, even though the date is not announced yet, Wolfenstein Young Blood, and that's to be announced in 2019. I'm into the Elder Scrolls Six too. I would love to play that game because I, I love Skyrim. I loved um, Oblivion. I played Morrowind a little bit, um, but I love those games for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Games and Groceries on Twitter, they say, really looking forward to Division 2, but we'll see what uh, Obsidian has to reveal at the VGA. Might be putting off other games, putting all other games on hold, especially since it's their dream game to make. So, uh, I I heard about Obsidian's new game they're coming out with. It's kind of like a, um, what, it's like a Fallout 3, because they made Fallout 3. It's like okay. Fallout 3 mixed with like uh, space. Oh, cool. Like plants and stuff. It looks super interesting. Nice. I actually will probably buy that too. I forgot about that game until just now. I'm definitely going to buy that game. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. We got um, Chris on Twitter. The Last of Us Part 2, Life is Strange 2, Episode 2, Rules, uh, The Walking Dead, The Final Season, Gears of War 5, Halo Infinite, Untitled Avengers Game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mm, yep. I agree. I definitely want to get Gears of War 5, too, when that comes out. I love Gears of War. I, I played all the other ones. Okay. Yeah, they, they they look like a lot of fun. I think I've only, like, picked them up here and there, but not active. Yeah, they're they're fun. They're, I mean, they're Xbox shooting games. You might not be up your alley, but right. I grew up with them, so right. sold on them. Right, yeah. No, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yvonne on Twitter said, uh, Cyberpunk, The Last of Us 2, Dragon Age 4, mm. And maybe one day a new Mass Effect game. Uh, I've heard Mass Effect's pretty good. Yeah, I have too. It, it, Mass Effect alone makes me want to buy a PS3. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because people really like them. Mm-hmm. I see them on list a lot for like best story games. Yeah, they're re- they're they're good. For that. I think I played the first one. It was really good. Yeah, none of them have remasters for PS4. Just surprising for some reason. Yeah. There's a new one called Andromeda, I guess, but it's like um. It seems like God of War 4 where it's not really related to them. Oh, okay. But, I, like, people who haven't played them say it's okay, but if you played the old ones, people oh, don't like the new one as yeah, much. Fair. Yeah, fair. Not worth picking up, probably. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. So, I'm kind of like, eh, should I buy a PS3? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, they're not that expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it, and you can get them for, like, 100 or something, mm-hmm. so. Uh, not terrible. Yeah, it's not horrible. I have a lot, though, for a <laughs> really old console. Yeah, that that's kind of my debate in it because it's like mm-hmm. I could do that, and there's some other games I want to play, like first Red Dead or like uh, yep. the Resistance games. Those are really those fun. are pretty good. I think I played the first two. Yeah, those were really fun, stuff like that. So I'm like, eh, but I don't know. Yeah, probably should just play the games I own. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a fair amount to play through. <laughs> right, got a backlog. Yep. Uh, I'm kind of surprised actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm surprised that no one mentioned uh, Death Stranding. Yeah. Uh, well, is that supposed to come out this year? Or oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've been, like, uncertain of how to feel. Like, it looks cool, mm-hmm. but I've been uncertain if I want to play it or not. But Yeah. Uh, There's not enough information out there about it yet. Yeah. Like, I, I think it looks good and looks at least intriguing and interesting at this point, but it, it seems like it would be good. Yeah, I bet it will be, and maybe the more I see, the more I'll be mm-hmm. in. Between having Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen, right? That's, yeah, right, like... That's mm. gotta probably have like you. I feel like I'm ninety percent in or should be because of that, but I think I just don't know enough that I'm like, yeah. Uh. And it looks really weird, which I'm also pretty into. Just yeah. weird games like that that are probably action oriented. It's like, yeah, you probably got my money already. Yeah, but I want to I want to read some stuff about it first. I think. Yeah, that's more gameplay trailers, maybe. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess too, when a game sounds weird, sometimes you're like, I don't know if I would like that or not. Yeah. But then when you play, it, you're like, Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's weird, I'm but it's not that weird. It's not like bad weird. Right, right. Yeah, <clears throat> if it's bad weird, then it could be mm-hmm. a bummer. Yeah. But uh, um, we got last up, Lucas on Twitter says none, sadly, which I'm surprised by. It seems like there's some supposedly good games coming out in 2019. Unless you're not like into RPGs or story based games, maybe there wouldn't be anything. I guess. Except, hey, uh, I feel like there's some good games coming out for, like, lots of different, like, I don't know, types. Like, Halo shooting games coming out, Gears of War 5's coming out. Really? I don't know if it's this year, next year, 2019, no, but yeah. 
There, I, there seems like there's some games coming out. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's some of it, is maybe not having firm release dates on some of them. Fair. Or uh, maybe wanting to take the, I wanna, I'm going to wait and see approach. Like, yep. Because I guess that's something, is that if you're super hype on a game, mm-hmm. and then you get it and it sucks. Yeah, super sad. <laughs> yeah, then you're just like, oh. Yeah. I, Video games suck in general. I, I spent 60 bucks on this, and I don't even like it. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> That'd be suck. super disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. So that is our uh, episode, though, on kind of the best of 2018. So, and uh, this is also our last episode for 2018. So we'll see you in 2019. Like we mentioned, uh, Walking Dead Final Season has an episode coming out in January. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Life is Strange 2's next episode is also supposed to be in January. Yeah. They didn't give a firm date, but. So I'm guessing those will be two of the next things we do. Yeah, we'll release those yeah. ASAP. Yeah, those will probably be two of the first things we do in January, mm-hmm. I'm guessing. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. That, yeah, yeah, I guess that's the episode. So we will uh, see you then. Yep, later. <laughs>